Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and welcome to Imola. This is the SF70H, uh, part of the Ferrari 70th Anniversary DLC for Assetto Corsa. Um, this car is only a day old but already sort of infamous uh, in the world of sim racing. Extremely tough to drive, however, um, our partners at Play Everything managed to run a 119 at Imola in this car, a fantastic lap. And um, Play Everything has been a great supporter of the Sim Racing 604 channel and vice versa. I'm a big fan of their work. So what we decided to do is uh, team up for this. Uh, Play Everything is a fantastic driver as you can tell by this lap. So we decided to uh, team up. We would take his lap and uh, break down for my viewers how uh, this lap was done. So um, just gonna break it down turn by turn, use it as a speed guide to Imola and basically a guide to mastering this track. And um, we're looking forward to uh, big things from this collaboration. We're excited to do it. So uh, let's get into it. And uh, you can find the setup, by the way, over at the Play Everything channel. I will link to his channel in the description. Please go follow and uh, enjoy the lap. And uh, let's learn some things about how to get super fast at Imola. All right, so uh, we're just winding down our, our previous lap here, coming into our hot lap. So this is the last set of corners. And uh, what we want to do here is make sure that our line is good to give us a good launch into that straight, give us some good speed down the front straight. As you can see, we're coming in uh, pretty aggressively here, going over this curb very, very hard. And get a good, good launch going into that front straight. So we're into 8th gear before we even cross the start-finish line and uh, well north of 300 kilometers an hour and then we're going to uh, actually that was a bit early we're going to watch for our breaking point here so there's 300 250 and it's going to come quite late actually so coming up to the 100 marker and just before the 100 marker we're going to go hard on the brakes that's 100 percent brakes and uh nice early turn in as you can see we're not staying outside turning in late we are going inside early here This curb we want to uh, take very aggressively. These yellow and black bumps here, those can be dangerous. Those will unsettle the car. So we want to take this curb as aggressively as we can while avoiding these yellow and black uh, curbs on the inside. Same again for the next corner. Uh, red and white is good. Yellow and black, not good. So uh, just staying slightly outside of that. Fairly self-explanatory here, want to finish nice and far outside to uh, maintain our speed through the previous corner. And then full throttle of course, and uh, back finishing outside. So we have a good amount of speed, we're high in 6th gear by now, and uh, before we even get off this curb we're going to be north of 250 kilometers an hour. That's a great exit speed uh, coming down the straightaway here. So the next corners, the next set of corners actually, um, is going to be somewhat surprising to you most likely. Um, you can see the confidence you need to have in this car. So we're full throttle, nice early turn in again. And as we go towards the curb here, we are still in full acceleration. So the braking does not come until about this point. When we're about halfway through this curve, that's when the brakes are applied. So it's going to take a lot of confidence in this car to uh, still be full throttle uh, through your turn in. So nice... Uh, nice and confident through these curbs here um, obviously we want to take as much speed with us as we can um, but at the same time we don't want to overdo it if we get too too aggressive with this corner and put two wheels on the grass too soon um, or too aggressively I should say we will lose traction so this is kind of perfect here and we're finishing nice and aggressive outside two wheels up on the curb and finishing with an excellent exit speed we're already at 150 K here that's a great amount of speed to carry out of that corner so coming into the hairpin uh, there's actually two possible approaches 
So the first uh, approach we can take is a nice early turn in, uh, stick the car to the curb, and you will uh, get better overall speed through the corner. The second approach is to turn in late and uh, try and straighten up the car more quickly on your exit for a better exit speed. So you can choose whichever one you feel more confident in. So in this case, we've uh, we've gone inside here. Uh, it's just a perfect curve. Uh, this hairpin, we've got two tires just barely touching the inside curb. We're still north of 100 kilometers an hour and we should be able to manage some good exit speed here. Finishing outside of course, two wheels up on the curb. Uh, coming up the hill here, I'm gonna let it run a bit higher speed. So nice neutral position on the uh, on the track here. No need to go too hard to uh, to the left there. Um, and then a gentle curve inside coming into the double left. So we'll slow it down here. So we want to stay nice and far to the right. And we need to be very aggressive on this turn in. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a flick basically of 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 the uh, of the wheel here. Um, car is always going to turn harder when you move the wheel quickly. So uh, the best way to turn here really is to uh, flick the steering wheel and keep it as stable as possible through the rest of the corner. Again, flicking that wheel in a car like this is uh, not for the faint of heart, but uh, it is the best way to maximize our speed through the corner. So let's let it run at a bit higher speed here. So that's great. We're in a great position here. Nothing on the grass. Uh, two wheels up on the curb. So in a perfect, we're in a perfect position for a good exit speed here. And this curb actually can be very slippery. So we just need to be very, very careful here. Um, just going to let it run a bit more. And we're we're you know we have a high level of g-forces at this point, so uh, just got to be careful again of this curve. It can be slippery, so we want to just ease the car to the left here. No need to get too aggressive in cutting the car over or anything like that. Of course, we want to keep uh, keep things smooth. So just a gentle fade to the left here. Um, this is not a full throttle corner coming into the next one. So keep an eye on your on the pedals here on the right. Let's just take a look at that as we go through. We'll go through nice and slow. So still full throttle. We have a tendency to brake coming into this corner, but that's not actually what we want to do. We want to just back the, the throttle off slightly so we're at you know 90%, 80% throttle, something like that. Uh, go full throttle and you're probably going to lose it to the outside. So, um, and we know that we have to brake hard coming into this uh, second part of uh, aqua, aqua Minerale here. So let's let it run again and keep an eye on your braking point here. Right there. So almost as soon as we're done the, uh, the curve, we're going to be hard on our brakes and slowing right down. Fourth gear here, backing off the uh, braking slightly. And already we're halfway through this curve. We're taking a chance here. This uh, bump on the inside could unsettle the car, uh, but we're taking a little chance here. We're back on the throttle. We're probably going to have to control a bit of oversteer here. So yeah, a bit of slide there, kind of a four-wheel slide. Uh, we're still under control though. We're back on that throttle about 80%, uh, setting up the uh, exit here. Um, we can effectively uh, ignore this third corner because it serves, you know, if we've done our exit right from the second part of Aqua Minerale, the uh, third corner is uh, fairly simple. So we can, you know, we don't have to spend a lot of time on this curve. Getting very, very aggressive here. But again, that's your line. That's not really a turn in issue. That's just an exit from your previous corner issue. 
So a nice fade to the outside here. We're going to have to, uh, by the end of the straightaway, make our way back to the left. Um, and then it's arguably the most dangerous corner, probably actually without question the most dangerous corner on the circuit coming up. So let's slow it right down when we get close and look at our uh, speed and braking point. So coming up to the 100 mark, uh, about 270 kilometers an hour coming up the hill here nearing 280 and there okay so we're looking at somewhere in the 60 or 70 range uh, between the 50 and the 100 here closer to the 50 certainly and we are full brake and we can actually carry a decent amount of speed through this corner and look at how aggressive we're gonna go here so um, if your brake balance, by the way, coming into this corner, if your brake balance is set too far for the rear, uh, you can actually spin out. So I know a lot of us like to set our brake balance to the rear because we end up locking up the fronts too much, etc., etc. But if your brake balance is too far for, to the rear, this corner will punish you. So uh, let's take a look here. So you see where we are there. It's a very, very aggressive uh, position to be in. We're still north of 100 kilometers an hour and uh, still have a lot of these, uh, this chicane to go. But you can see it puts us in perfect position. We're going to do almost the same thing we saw in the last corner here. Very, very strong to the inside. Uh, these black and yellow markers will not punish us like the standalone ones we saw in earlier corners. So this... Uh, Nice aggressive position here. Uh, looks uh, puts us in the right position for the exit, and um, yeah. So uh, we have to be cognizant as we come out of this corner. I'll let it run a little bit faster. You notice that we're just easing into the throttle. If we go full throttle here. Uh, the back end is going to kick out. We're going to end up somewhere over here on the grass. So uh, nice and easy on the throttle. And this green over here is extremely slippery. So we just need to be very, very careful how we finish. We want to finish inside, keeping it on the track, keeping it inside the white lines. And now we're full throttle and we're in an excellent position. So close to the inside here. No need to get too aggressive. Let's watch our turn in point here. So, uh, what are we? Just outside the 200 mark. Um, we're going to start fading towards the inside of the corner here. And a nice uh, neutral position on the track. Not too aggressive. But this corner uh, can be the death of many a hot lap, so we need to be very, very careful how we approach this. Uh, we're going to break early. We're going downhill. We're north of 300 kilometers an hour. It just makes sense to break early. Um, turn in we can do either normally or early. Um, you've seen many, many early entries in this lap already. Seems to be working. Um, let's let it run a little bit more. Okay, missed my uh, braking point there, I apologize. But uh, nice early braking and hard on those brakes. And let's take a look where our turn in point is. Already here, we're turning in. We're not going to, again, stay outside and cut. We're going to do a nice early fade in. And then the green out here is again slippery, similar to what we just saw on top of the previous hill. So we want to avoid that. Two wheels up on the curb. And then nice finish there. Two wheels up on the curb there. And finishing outside, nice strong finish to this lap. So excellent speed. Uh, we're just finished, as you can see in the lower right there, just past the curb, and we're already up over 200 kilometers an hour. That's an excellent position to be in coming into the front straight. 
DRS wide open. And there we have it. That's your 119.083. So in summary, we had uh, a lot of early turn-ins. Uh, we're maximizing our exit speed, of course. Uh, aggressive on a lot of corners. We uh, need to attack those curbs, but be cognizant of the yellow and black bumps. So uh, a lot to learn there. We're going to go through it one more time at full speed without me talking over it. Hopefully you uh, learned something from this lap, and we would love to see your lap times. Um, thank you so much to Play Everything for this uh, collaboration. It was an amazing lap, far better than what I could have done. I hope I can uh, provide some value by breaking down the lap a bit. And uh, yeah, just awesome. So Please, uh, everyone who watches this, uh, if you do go out and run some awesome times at Imola in the uh, SF70H here, post your lap times below. Go follow Play Everything. Uh, you can go to their channel right now and uh, check out the setup video for this. And uh, yeah, had a blast making this. Thank you again to Play Everything. And hopefully we will break down more laps in the future. Thank you so much for watching.